Okay, I'm going to check my volume here. Hey, Regina, how are you? Let me make sure. Hey, Regina, how are you? So, I know it's working. Yay. Y'all come on in. I know I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> like, what's she doing on a live now? I mean, did the world come to an end? Or, you know, was there some big miracle that happened? But I'm in the shop. I had some things I wanted to kind of put together a spring wreath for. So I thought I would come on and do that with my friends. Why not? And I'm starving to death. I haven't eaten today. Well, I'll take that back. I ate breakfast. One breakfast is kind of closer to lunch. Anyway, now that you know all that and it's important, let's make a wreath. I pulled some inspiration from my bow that I'm going to use and that makes it easy when you have an inspiration piece that you can count on to kind of get your colors selected and that's what I did. So, I need a little piece of styrofoam to get started. Hey, everybody. I sure hope that I can see comments tonight. Facebook is about to make me mad. <laughs> yeah, I have these fits often, y'all. Come on in. If you feel like sprinkling us, go on and sprinkle us. Hey, Tammy. What is going on? Let's make a wreath. I'm going to get this little piece of styrofoam. And it's just a little piece. Like that. Hello, everybody. If you're here for your first time, please let me know. And I would love to say hello to you and everybody else. North Texas. All right. Okay, so see, I'm going to use just a little piece of styrofoam. I wanted to move it to my other camera so you could see what I was talking about. Karen Bush, welcome. What is going on? Charlotte, this is your first time. Y'all don't tell her any stories about me now. Don't believe everything you hear. But this is our inspiration for color tonight is my fabric bow. If you haven't bought your fabric bow tutorial yet, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? Upstate New York? Come on. So if you haven't started making these, come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let's see if I can put the link for y'all. I don't know if it printed it or not. So let me try it. Hang on. We're going to get started. Almost ready. So I'm going to put in the link for the bow tutorial. And we are making these like crazy. Lots and lots of bow making going on. Thank you, Carol. I mean, Karen. So here's the here's the bow itself. Let me change you back to my other view because now we're going to work on the wreath itself, okay? Here's a grapevine base. It's just an 18-inch grapevine base round. 
And what I want to do is take this little piece of styrofoam that I showed you earlier, and I'm going to zip tie it to my wreath base. That way I can put my bow on top of it. And you're probably wondering, why does she do that? Well, I like to get my bow up off of the wreath so that it can be seen a little bit better. And I'm putting it, if this was 12 o'clock, then this is going to be like 10 o'clock. So I'm going to put the bow at about 10 o'clock. It's a 10 o'clock bow. And I'm just going to zip tie this little piece of styrofoam. Now, David is not in here, and so if I'd miss your comment, I apologize. My husband is David. He sometimes comes in and helps moderate my my lives. But I've got some of my TCS members on here, Tammy and, and different ones. So they'll help me if, um, if y'all have a question, they pretty much can answer any of my questions. Christy just made her first one. Yay! And why haven't you sent me a picture? Why, why, why? Kathy Huffman, how are you? Good to see you. But I came on yesterday to show y'all how to use these fabric bows because people don't really know. And they're like, well, I don't know if I want to buy that tutorial or not. Because what do I do with it after I get through making it? Listen, you can do a lot with it. Besides wreath making. So there is my piece of styrofoam with my zip ties. Christy, yay! Yeah, Christine uh, Spruill will take care of y'all if you need anything. I've got some people here that can respond and whatnot. Okay, so in the tutorial, I teach you how to put the hanger on the back so you'll know how to attach it to whatever it is you're doing. And this one ha already has the hanger attached, so we're going to go ahead and put that on top of our styrofoam. Now, that would be straight on. I don't want it straight on. I want it kind of at an angle. So I'm going to turn it at an angle and then put my wire through the back. Easier said than done, huh? Okay, put that through the back. I'm going to put this one through and see what happens when you put this up a little bit higher with the styrofoam. It just makes it stand up and say, well, hello there. Let me put that there so I can tie it. It says, hello, little bow. Aren't you fancy? Don't you think you're smarty pants? I don't know what it says. Okay, where's my... There. Yay! Come on in, y'all. Talk about how fun today was. Actually, today was a good day. I slept till 11.30. Don't judge me. I must have need I must have needed it or I wouldn't have slept that long. I I really did need it. <laughs> I needed it. All right, so what I'm going to do is take a greening pen and stick it on the back of the back flap of this bow and just kind of anchor it a little bit more. I'm going to stick it through the fabric. And then put it into the, um, and this will kind of just hold it onto the styrofoam. So yeah, I wanted it to kind of be at an angle. That makes me happy. So you can stick a greening pin through this fabric 
It works really well. And then it can anchor into the styrofoam to keep it from shifting. Hey, Jeannie. Jersey. What's going on in Jersey? Now, look. We could stop right there. Of course, we're not. But isn't that beautiful? So far, so good. Okay, let me get my pick machine. We're going to start filling it with some florals now. And I have my pick machine here. If you don't have a pick machine, that's totally fine. You don't have to have one. But I do like to use one to anchor in my greens. So this is just what we call some button fern. It's super easy to work with. And I, the nice thing about this uh, styrofoam being under the bow, you can totally start sticking in your ferns and greens and whatever you got into the styrofoam. It's a perfect place to put it. Okay, I'm going to grab some more of this button fern. Now, in my private group, I do some other camera angles, um, you know, so you can see, like, my table and everything, and we'll do a split screen and that type of shot. But um, for today, we're just going to use this main door angle. But here's another piece of button fern that I'm going to put in the top of this styrofoam right up here at the top. So you just start with your greens and nestle that bow. Now see what would have happened if we'd had it just flat with the grapevine. It would have kind of gotten lost, in my opinion. But this way, it gives it a little bit of a stool or you know, gives it like a little more attention on it because it's sitting upright. Okay, I'm just going through my greens here. So what did everybody do today? I worked all the day long after I finally got up, which was kind of late, but... It's been a busy week. I mean, I've been putting in full days where I normally don't do that. All right, I'm going to mix in a different kind of fern because I don't like them all to be exactly the same. And I'm going to come under and find my styrofoam and then just put that in there. Look, it's starting to come together, and we haven't really even done a whole lot. Wow! Let me see what everybody's seven. Clean vomit and diarrhea? Oh, my gosh! What in the world? Yes, I did make the bow, Dawn, and it's pinned at the top of this slide. You can see the um, info on the tutorial. It is a non-sewing bow. So everything's glued. And I am tell you, it's easy to do. All right, let's put this other kind of fern up here because I put it down on the bottom. And let's spread that open. Yeah, the longer I'm standing here, the hungrier I'm getting. Thinking about it. I got to quit thinking about it. Don't think about it. <laughs> Nobody tell me what you had for dinner because I can't think about it. Don't tell me. So, in the tutorial, it's a video, and I show you, well, actually, it's two videos. One shows you how to make the bow, and then the other video, short one, shows you how to do the uh, tie. 
hanger on the back. And then there's a, a really good supply list with a pattern. And it's all right there for you to download and use right away. So as soon as you purchase it, it's available to you. And I went to Joann's to get some of my fabric because they had a really good sale going on. And I got almost $100 worth of, um, or 100 off on my fabric. That means I bought a lot. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I can do it. Daddy said I could do it. This one came from Hobby Lobby. So, yes, absolutely. Hobby Lobby's got some pretty ones, too, for spring. So, it's just a lightweight cotton fabric. It takes about a yard. Not quite a yard. Maybe three quarters of a yard to do a bow. And um, it takes probably all total uh, an hour to make it. That's from start to finish of cutting everything out and assembling it. The middle piece came from Hobby Lobby. It's just a, a brooch or, you know, a pin from their jewelry section. So that's what that is. But I love getting this bow up off of the grapevine. That's really making it pop out. Pop goes the weasel. Now we're going to take these greens a little bit further. Over here, I've got a whole bush. These are button ferns. I think that's what they call them. Butch. Yeah, butch. Button fern. Not butch. That was the wrong word. These have been around for a long time in the wreathing world. So, a very good basic pick. Okay, I'm going to go around here a little bit. We do have some florals to put in here to tie together with the bow. And so, be patient. We're going to add those in. But I took all of my color selection from the bow itself. So it's got some green, some pink, some teal. I didn't put any teal in the florals because teal is a hard color to incorporate as far as florals in a design. You will find. But another reason I like to use a pick machine is because like this bush is all real, you know, I don't want to put all that in there. So I cut off pieces, and then I just put them in the pick machine, and I can create my own pick, however many I want in there. And in this case, three works perfectly. See, I made my own. Oh, well, dang it. I'm getting tied up. Let me put this inside there. So I made my own pick, see? Let's continue on around the wreath itself. Some of you may be afraid of grapevines. They are not intimidating to me, but I can see your concern, you know, that it, you don't think you can do it, but you can. I know, I know you can. I know you can. Okay, now what happened? Facebook's making me mad. Better not have bumped me out. The new bow, something coming in the future. 
So yeah, it's um, this one's about 15 inches, and I decided on that size based on the scale of most of my wreaths that I make. Uh, it can be scaled down smaller, but I think this is a good size for my projects, and that's kind of what I base the size on. But these are very popular. People are loving making them because you can do so many of your own embellishments. You can put your own touch on it as far as how the bow looks. You can add trim. You can sew a border on the outside if you're a seamstress and you want to do that. You can put different things in the middle of it. Mix different fabrics. There's so many variations. Chances are nobody's going to have a bow exactly like yours. That's a beautiful thing. You can be uniquely and beautifully different. They're getting real popular on Etsy. I've seen quite a few shops with these in their shops. Just the bows themselves. I have not listed any because I'm I'm a little I don't know I'm wanting to selfishly put them in my designs and not just sell them outright. That's the way I feel, but that might change. I'm getting all glued up here. Hi, Sue. Welcome. Regina, I know yours is going to be so pretty. Now, y'all look at Sue. She's got that badge after her name. That means she's in my creation, I mean, my um, subscriber group, which is $4.99 a month. And yesterday, the subscribers got a free tutorial on the umbrella. So, you get perks and benefits. If you're interested in that, there's a sign-up form there on my page that says subscriber. And then you'll be put in a special group and you get notifications and 25% off on my website. You get your subscriber badge that shows up when you're on one of my lives. Gives you that distinction. And check it out if you want. Ooh, this is looking so pretty. I always say that. <laughs> no, not always. Sometimes I don't like what I do. Y'all ever have something that you just don't like? It happens. Sometimes you look at it and you go, eh! Eh! What was I thinking when I made this? I was having a bad creation day, bad creative day. Look at, look at that hot mess of stuff I made. It happens. So when we start adding some of our color on this base green, you'll see it start to pop out. How much would I charge for the bow? It's going to run, depending on what you put in the middle of it, it'll run you anywhere from $48 to $60. So again, it's going to depend on the fabric that you choose. But that's about what they're selling for. Is um, $48 to $60, somewhere in there. From, from my research. That doesn't look like it's going to stay. But I told somebody the other day that my addiction to ribbon is um, much like my addiction to fabric. I can get lost in the fabric store. And I love picking out different colors and stuff. Okay, let's add some floral. 
Hey, Amy, what are you doing? Where's my boyfriend? Y'all, my hair is a mess. I have no makeup on, but I, don't, I know y'all don't care about that. Please tell me you don't care. <laughs> Say, I don't care. I don't care. All right, next, we're going to add some florals. Let me show you what I've picked out. I've got a little bit of ribbon there. We may add that to soften some things. But I've got these little baldy things. I've got some pink eucalyptus berries. I've got a soft pink hydrangea. And then I've got a hot pink sunflower. So I think these are all going to really play off of the bow colors. And I'm excited to use those. Let's get these in this wreath. Let's start with our biggest flowers, the hydrangea. These are the Real Touch hydrangeas, and let me tell you what, they are yummy. They are so good. They look like they came out of the yard just a few minutes ago. That's how beautiful they are. And you can just touch them and feel like they're, oh, they're so, so wonderful. Okay, I'm going to add this kind of down here. And watch what happens. We get some pretty florals in here and things start to kind of change. Now you want to bend the head of it so it comes up a little bit and doesn't lay flat. Like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, that is so good. Let's get the other one. Welcome to all my newcomers. Um, happy to have you. in my wild and crazy world. <laughs> yes, that's a perfect idea. I know, Amy, I get to hug y'all's neck. I'm excited. Okay, I think it's too predictable to put this up here. So I'm gonna put it somewhere else. Cause I, I don't like being predicted predictable like being different and I rarely ever ever follow design rules it's just hard for me to be that kind of person that I just do that so be aware Now these are just some little pieces of hydrangeas that fell off of another flower. So I'm going to use them. Who knows where they came from. But I'm going to stick them kind of coming out of that styrofoam. So in a couple of weeks we're going to have an event at General Wholesale. And I would welcome you to watch it virtually or if you're going to come actually i don't want to do that i'm put it down here um go to general wholesale vivian's website and um facebook page and you can read all about it lots of goodness gonna be going on look what we did so far I am not creating. Somebody's asking me if I'm a, am I creating at General Wholesale. No, I am not one of the presenters because Sandy's got me doing the MC. Uh oh, here comes trouble, y'all. I do not like the leaves on this flower, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. Who is messaging me? 
Pardon my husband. Are you hungry? Somebody's messaging me. Okay, let's put this hot color in there. How about it? Look at this hot color. And it goes so perfect with that bow. I don't know if y'all can tell, but that bow has that same color. These came from Garden Ridge, and they're old. Not old, but I mean, I've had them a while. It's always great when you can utilize the flowers that you already have. So I'm going to let those kind of lay in there with the hydrangea. Let's put some up at the top. Oh, Karen. <laughs> I don't know. Probably, yeah, you're going to be laughing a lot because you know me. I like to have a good time. Things get a little cranked up when I'm there. That is the truth. Okay, let's put this one right here. Things get a little crazy. Y'all like these? They're so big and bold and wonderful. So good. We've been selling a lot of the tutorials, so um, I know they're going to be real popular. All right. I don't really want to put another flower up there. I think I'll put one right here. <laughs> yes! You know, when you have a design starting to come together, it gives you that real good feeling. Good evening, Debbie! Snowy! It is cold here, but not snowy, for sure. Do y'all love this bow in here? I am just about to die. It's so pretty. Let's see. The pink in it is perfect for this design. Perfect. Lots of cute things being done with these bows. Okay, where else do I want to put one? Maybe right there. I've got my glue pan over here. That's what I'm using. Love that pink in there. It's such a vibrant color for this design. Yes, we love those big flowers. The bigger, the better, right? Okay, let's start adding in some of this texture. And by that, I mean, what are these called? Snowball stems hanging. That's what they're called, snowball stems. <clears throat> hanging snowballs. So once we add something like this in, oh my gosh, it changes the way it looks. And so I like the way this trails down and we're going to put that in and let it kind of trail through those hydrangeas. Watch, watch what happens. 
Okay, this is going to go in the styrofoam behind the bow. Remember, we have a piece of styrofoam back there. Ow, it went all the way through. My gracious. Okay, so now I'm going to take these and just kind of nestle them in. Actually, I'm going to cut that one and make it shorter. So I'm just cutting a piece off because I want it a little bit shorter in there. And I'm bleeding, which means I'm doing a lot of hard work. Whenever I start bleeding, y'all know that I'm really working hard. Let me see. I need a tissue. It happens. One of the hazards of working with these picks is they are extremely sharp. So you just kind of play with them until you get them where you want them. See how they just kind of dangle, dangle, dangle down? Let's see if we can put a few more in. So what I'm going to do is put some right there. Kind of right in here. And then we'll let these kind of drape over those. When you're using elements like this, don't fight what they're trying to do. So just kind of let them dangle down where they want to dangle and then adjust them a little if you need to. But Well, this one's not helping me. Come on. Okay. Okay, see how that's just kind of working like that? That's perfect. <sighs> Amy, burn the crap out of yourself. Oh, I hate that. Hey, Devin Marshall. Devin is my grandson. He can't believe his grandmother is on uh, TikTok and YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to put these aside. I don't need the rest of them. And now let's add some of these eucalyptus berries. Again, a little bit of texture in here. I've got the perfect place for them. Right here. I'm trying to not bleed on everything, so. Yeah, I gotta take this down and push on it. Okay, now, now I'm back. Sometimes you have to just get it down there and go for it. Oh, cat. Kevin has a grandson named Devin, too. Okay, so I want these to go that way. Well, 
Remember, your florals are not the boss of you. You make them go where you want them to go. And then we'll all be happy. Okay, we'll put in this other piece in. And I'm going to add this down in this area. So if you're interested in making these bows, you can get the tutorial. The link is at the top of the page or top of the comments. It's a pinned comment. And you can get started like right away. Jump on the bandwagon, all the craze that's going on. Well, this one, this is a big old thick stem. That's why it doesn't want to go in very good. Well, there somebody bought one. Congratulations, you're about to experience a lot of fun. <laughs> this way. Perfect, perfect. Now these were some leftover leaves. I don't like to lose any elements. If they're good leaves, I'm going to use them. So I'm going to put them in somewhere. They were off the hydrangea. So let's use those. You don't want to waste a good leaf, ever. If it's, if it's pretty, use it. Yeah, I think this one turned out really pretty. Of course, the bow is fabulous. That always helps when you've got something that's a showpiece like that. Now, I've got a little bit of this styrofoam showing, so I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put one of these little balls on it. See those little things that we've used? I'm just going to glue it up in there. Just to camouflage that styrofoam. But, see, had we put that bow flat with the grapevine, we would have lost it in all these florals. But this way, because it's sitting up on the styrofoam, it gives it so much more dimension. There's blood. Now it dried up. You think you broke your toenail? Lord, don't make me come have to pick you up. You know, I don't want to. Now, there is this cute ribbon. I'm thinking I might just stick a few pieces in there. So, this is just some pretty green and uh, pink ribbon that comes in the one inch. I'm going to put it in my pick machine. Let me show you what we're going to do with this. I'm going to just gather it at the end, and I'm going to put it in my pick machine. And we're going to put in some ribbon tails. And I'll most likely cut this. I've probably got them too long. But here's what's going to happen. Okay, let's cut a little bit off of this. Okay. 
and then you can kind of just soften this up a little with these ribbons. Kind of curl it a little. I like it. I like it. Let's do a few more. I'm just going to cut. I'm not measuring these. I don't know how much they are. Or how long they are. Let me fix the end of this. Well, thank y'all for hanging with me tonight. It's been fun. We could have been done with this a lot quicker had I not been talking so much, but that's okay. Let that kind of curl around. See how that just kind of adds a little bit of punch. Now we're going to put some over here. And that will be all we need. David Marshall out. Oh, Devin. I thought maybe my husband was watching. Put some right up here. How about it? Fix the ends. Something about just some soft ribbon tails makes it all so lovely. Okay, might need some ribbon tails up there. I thought I was through, but I'm not. I'm going to add one more set of ribbon tails above that area at, at the top. And then I'll be finished. Oh, Norma, you enjoy me talking. The colors are so fun, aren't they? Sue, you're one of my biggest cheerleaders. I've got quite a few cheerleaders. And at this point in my crazy life, I need them. <laughs> I do. We all need a little affirmation, don't we? Like a good job and awesome and you're doing wonderful and we appreciate you. And people like to hear that. Also, if you're in the membership group, the um, Mill and Dell Designs membership, you get 25% off of anything on my website, which means you get 25% off of the bow tutorial. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. I think I need one more piece of green. So instead of $14.97, it'd be... I don't know, 11 something. Maybe. Don't hold me to it. Do the math. Do the math so you'll know.
Well, I need that to stick up kind of high, so I'm going to cut it short, short. Just a little pop of green right there is what I wanted. Yay. Yay. Look, y'all, we're done. What do you think? Didn't it turn out so pretty? Let me get y'all a really good close-up. Hey, Cindy that just joined in. Look at her. She's got... She is, well, Cindy, you apparently are in the membership group because you've got a badge. So if you want to use uh, your coupon, look in the group and it'll show you the, um, the coupon code for the subscription group. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Lovely. So let's review. We used a fabric bow. The tutorial is pinned at the top of this um, post live. And then we used, filled up the wreath with our greens. We used ferns. And then we added in some of our florals. Um, the texture, the berries, these little garland hanging, whatever they are. And that's it. We made something pretty, didn't we? Thank y'all for being here. I do appreciate it. I could get back on camera to help. And I'll be in my Terry's Creation Station tomorrow night and teaching them something. Um, and they also get a tutorial once a month. This month's tutorial is... Let me show it to you. How to make this cuteness. Can y'all see it? This little bunny. So sweet. Okay, I'm going to say goodnight. I'm starving. I need food. And we'll see you soon, okay? Night, everybody. Thanks for being here.